What's up everybody, Jay Pinoy, and I got this uh, Robin Hood figure, yep, uh, from Super 7, it's pretty, it has a lot of accessories, um, this isn't the first uh, Super 7 uh, uh, toy that I own, I do own the Thundercats, uh, which I will get into that on another separate video, but yeah, I mean, this Robin Hood is, uh, pretty uh, pretty cool that it comes with a lot of uh, a lot of accessories but I had I watched you know some some videos of on YouTube other reviewers about this uh, this figure and yeah uh, it wasn't it was mixed feelings about this figure uh, but yeah here's the packaging and here's the back a little read up if you want to pause it Sorry, I'm doing this uh, this unboxing, you know, in my car because I'm not sure whether or not to keep it or maybe just return it. Seeing how you know with quality issues, a lot of people been complaining about quality issues. So I'm here at the mall where I bought this, and yeah, we're gonna see, you know, firsthand. I'm gonna you know mess around with it and see if it's very fragile or anything like that. Um, let's see if I'll keep it or return it okay so I got out the figure and uh, I had to like he comes in two pieces uh, well I kind of have to rip out one and a half of the piece out of the box because he was very tough to get out but you're probably wondering oh man it's broken uh, not quite uh, the reason why it's like this is because he can change for those of you that know Robin Hood the movie uh, the Disney cartoon uh, Robin uh, Robin Hood he uh, he dress up in disguise as a stork and the reason for that is because he was wanted uh, from uh, from uh, from the print uh, I forgot what the lion's name um, but yeah he was wanted and they didn't want Robin Hood to to be in this in this tournament where an archery tournament uh that whoever wins gets to have a i believe a date with the with the princess um not trying to it's been a while since i watched the movie but yeah that's what happened and so obviously robin hood was in love with the with the princess and so who looked like him a fox by the way um yeah um i don't think it's prince john it might be it might be or king john king john yeah it might not be king john king john is the, is the brother the lion uh but i'm trying to remember the the bad guy uh which is which is a uh, it's also a lion but different anyway um so robin hood he dressed up as a stork and he <laughs> You know he is the best at archery in the movie and the stork obviously won the tournament and <laughs> uh, I'm gonna yeah so like I said here's Robin Hood uh, straight out of the packaging he comes with a lot of accessories and you're probably wondering if he came with the stork as well uh, alternate uh, outfit which he does you see how it's double packaged like this yeah um, but very easy um, not too difficult to remove although the stork head is a bit difficult so here's the stork head so you can see I'm glad there's lighting um, from the Sun but yeah this is the stork head I haven't yet got out the stork uh, arms um, and the outfit uh, I'll get into that later I want to focus first on Robin Hood so here's Robin Hood it comes with tons of accessories that's a good thing about Super 7 uh, but is the quality good I don't know so moving his joints he can move his arm that far out and his tail is articulated you don't want to put too much force his leg is you know very t very small so be careful I mean it does have some movement his head he can't really look down much and he can't really look up no no hinges on the head but he does have he does have an ab crunch which is quite useless 
you can only turn it you can't go down as much without ripping uh, the scope so yeah um, it feels durable he can stand I believe yeah yeah I make him stand so not a problem um, yeah let's put some accessories on him and see uh, I believe some people said that the bow he does have two bows one for the stork and one for the himself as Robin and I love how the stork it does have this uh, this accessory which we'll get into this is how this is how it makes Robin Hood look taller as a stork so that's gonna be interesting to put on um, so here's Robin Hood's uh, bow it's just a regular bow it has a string nice that they use string but let's see if he can really hold it um, I'm not too sure oops yeah his his half body just came his lower part of his lower part just came off um, very easily uh, he does have hinges in the arms yeah I'm gonna try to do this off camera yeah this is what people a lot of people complain about it's, it's very hard for him to hold the bow you can put it in his hand but the problem is it's very loose look look see how loose it is very very loose um, let me see he does have alternative hands to see if that works uh, obviously this this hand is not gonna be the one to hold the bow so we'll get into that I'm not gonna lie that looks pretty darn good I was able to put the arrow uh, bow uh, in his arm in his hand but I have to change it and it is a tight fit so yeah be patient with it you might have to heat his his hand but it will work it will definitely work so pretty awesome looking even the arrow uh his arrow hand it was it was a nice snug and yeah, that really looks good here's robin getting shot by an arrow with that expression facial expression yeah pretty cool <laughs> i love that head scope the arrow is kind of bent but it's all right still works okay so behind the the, the first tray here's the second tray uh in the package so you have the stork so here's the stork you have to put them together obviously they don't give you an extra figure they want you to put uh, Robin Hood into the suit um, which is interesting but a lot of people are complaining they wish that for the price point that they should get an extra you know body of Robin Hood so they can have a stork and Robin Hood at the side by side but anyway here's the storks arms so he has a bowing arrow arms he has open arms uh wide open arms so and then here's his uh his shirt and here's the head and these are the parts we're going to use to build the stork so here we go okay so i did get the stork uh put together but man i gotta say man i don't really like the legs how is he supposed to stand so yeah this piece let me take it apart so this is a separate piece uh the only uh articulation you get is just the tail and perhaps the the feet joint as well but very look how close Diggy's feet are together it's just poorly designed like I can't even I don't know if I can I can't even separate this like look how close that is it's just so awkward I mean I get the idea what they're trying to do let me see if I can get this to stand but yeah um, putting it together the upper part is not too difficult uh, snuggling the the cloth uh, shirt here's the head yeah I'm gonna see where I can put this together so yeah after many attempts I'm trying to make him stand as a stork it's very difficult frustrating um, yeah uh, the upper part I had no issues with 